between this guy choosing between these two worlds, one being a single guy, businessman, has everything that you would think someone wants, and the other side is family and, and you know, kids and mortgage and all that stuff. I always thought it would be an incredible idea to try to merge those two worlds. It's the last case of pleasure. Why does David Stone want to write a book about me? Maybe I like stories about complicated people. Anything I choose to tell you is off the record until I give you permission to put it in the book. Any conversations you have about me, I want to know. Betray me, and there will be consequences. What's up, my man? Hey, it's you! <laughs> Long time no talk. Hold on one second. Do you want one second? Yeah, yeah. Wipe my face. One second. Hey, you! <laughs> How's everything? Last time I talked to you, you were in Israel. I was, I was. Now I'm here. Back in LA, you see the blackjack poster in background. I love your your setup. Oh, thanks. We got uh, what do you see? You see blackjack over there. Yep. Holy rollers. Let me see if I. Can oh, it's higher it. up. I don't see it. That part of it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Oh, there we go. You got holy rollers. You got uh, uh, club life. You got uh -huh. stand up guy. Over here, there's um. First, we take Brooklyn. And over here is Mop Town. And now I'm waiting for Lansky. For Lansky. There we go. Complete the collection. And my next one, um, I Love Us, which I love. You're directing that, right? I, I looked it up. I saw you're, you're directing and starting that one. Yeah, that one is a special one. I really love this one. Oh, we're going to get into it. How you been, though? How have you been for the last? I got, I got engaged. Oh, so when you were in Israel, were you, was that happening there? Or yes, yeah, yeah. so I met this beautiful girl. Uh -huh. I um, spent a lot of time with her there, and because of what was going on with quarantine, and yeah, you know, I I just spent six months at home with 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 her, and just got to know her, and I was like, I can't leave without giving her a ring. I mean, this is just perfect. So just knew, huh? Yeah, I just knew it. And uh, I proposed. Thank God she said yes. And now she's here with me. Uh, and uh, and we're going to actually travel and go back. Man, um, you've had a whole lifetime since we last talked in the last I know, few months. I know. How's it going wow. with you? How you been? Uh, things have been all right. You know, I, I'm wearing like a tink tea because it's hot in here in Chicago. It's like in the 90s and humid as hell. So and you're hitting the gym, I see. You're the gym. <laughs> yeah, my, my uh, chicken wings, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I got my buddy training me too. So yeah, I've been trying to kind of hit the gym a bit too. Uh, but good for you. Good for you. All right, yeah, congratulations. Uh, Keep yeah. it posted on that. <laughs> I will. I, hopefully it turns out. You know, I was I was planning to make my way into LA still this summer, you know, hopefully yeah. before this. Uh, Got some stuff to take care of there, and you know I got my my stuff in storage still. So, oh, uh, well, I'm here. If you ever come, yeah. I'll have a drink. Absolutely, that's the plan. So hopefully I'll, I'll see you out there. Uh, you know, if it's so, are you heading? Um, because I know Alexandra mentioned you're heading to New York in a few days too, right? Yeah. So, you're... so the premiere of Lansky is in LA is this Monday. Okay. Um, the twenty first, and then on the twenty fourth, New York. And I'm flying out for that. And then on Saturday night, we're leaving, going out of the country, going to Tel Aviv. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. So you're going all the way out to Tel Aviv. How long? Any, any idea how long you're going to stay there? Or? Uh, a month max because I got to come back. My next movie, I Love Us, comes out in September. Okay. So I should be here around mid-August. I might stay an extra week, but August, start prepping for it and get ready. So you guys are going back now as an engaged couple. Did you guys get engaged out there or out in LA? Out there, out there. Okay, so I'm like, oh, that would be, I mean, still, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm yeah. happy for you. This is freaking awesome. Thank so Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm excited. She's great. Yeah, that's cool. That Did you guys meet around here or? Uh... It's a long story. We met um, actually, um, um, a f she sent me a message on Instagram for a friend of hers and that's how I got to know her and then we started talking and that's how we became friends. Hey man, love comes in mysterious ways. So, you know what I mean? You were open Tell me to about it. it. <laughs> you were open to it and now you got something major out of it. So, that's super cool too. Yeah. Hey, I got to go on reality shows to find love, okay? You oh, found stop it. it. Stop it. 
<laughs> Man, I'm so bummed because I didn't get a screener yet for the film. So I was like, I wanted to see it prior to talking to you. I know we got to arrange this interview really quick. I saw the message and I'm like, hell yeah, I want to talk to him. But uh, I need to see this movie because I saw the trailer look so badass. I remember we talked about it last time, but yeah. man, what a cast too, huh? It's really great. You know, this has been something that I've been passionate about for years. Um, I was just always obsessed with Maya Lansky. You know, it's just like... You, you, you always see mob stuff with the guy who's like the muscle and, and but you never really go in details on, on the guy who like is the brain behind everything yep. everything together and, and watching, you know, and reading about him and, and watching these documentaries about him. I was always obsessed. With him. So for me, it was like, you know, a no brainer. I, you know, approached the director whose dad is the real guy that was the last person to interview Maya Lansky. No way. Yeah, in 1981. So he based the, the movie, the script, on his dad's last interview. Um, and uh, he wrote a book called, But They Were Good to Their Mothers, about Jewish crime, uh, organized crime. Uh -huh. And, uh, and a, big, a big part of the book was Maya Lansky. So I approached him. I was like, dude, I really want to do this. Your dad's amazing. I would love to meet him. We met with his dad. He's a director. He went to uh, NYU film school and uh, he did this one uh, film before that. And he was like, I'm going to direct it. I was like, great. Um, and I came on and um, after a while, I was so busy doing other things. He ran with it. So I kind of took a step back, always knew that I wanted to have a role in the movie. Yeah. Uh, and and it, took, it took years, but we got it made. And, you know, I, I didn't take a producing credit on it. I just... Uh, acted. I got a great role. I play uh, the FBI. CIA. I saw you there in a the trailer and the <laughs> spying on what's going on. So yeah, uh, FBI agent. Yeah. FBI. Yeah, FBI agent. Yeah. Special, special agent cons. There you go. Uh, and it was great. We shot it right before um, the whole um, COVID thing hit um, in Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. Okay. Did you guys great. wrap before COVID started? All a, week, a week before COVID. Started. Oh, wow. We wrapped a week before COVID started, and uh, and it was a great experience. I love Harvey Keitel, you know. That's right. Yeah, we know that um, history between you guys. Yeah, I love him. Uh, I helped get him in the movie. I, I, I sent him the script. I introduced him to a -Town. It was incredible. Um, and Sam Worthington came on, and Minka Kelly, and John... McGow, that guy, this guy is incredible. Oh, dude, I, I was going to ask you about John McGow. I just saw him in a movie. So I talked to Vinny Pastore a couple of days ago. Uh, he's got a movie called um, The Birthday Cake, and John McGarrow's in it. I'm telling you, it's a badass mobster movie with, like, the craziest cast. You have, like, like Lorraine Bracco, Vinny Pastore, Shiloh uh, Fernandez, Val Kilmer, Emery I, I Cohen. Know, it's stacked. I was invited to the premiere yesterday. I couldn't go. That's right. They had a premiere. Man, that movie, check it out. I'm telling you, it's badass. Oh, I wish I would have went. I, I, I talked to Shiloh and Vinny a couple of days ago, but uh, man, I love that movie. I'm like, sign me up for any mobster movie, but that one was really, really good. Um, yeah. So I, I'm guessing Lansky's right up there too. So I can't wait to, to do a back-to-back -back on some good, good mobster oh, yeah. stories. Lansky's really, really good. You know, it, it, Shooting it in Alabama. Yeah. Um, we shot it in 20 days. Uh, but really? The director, yeah, the director did Quick. such a great job. Um, he was really prepared. I mean, the cast is just so great that everyone's performance is just great. And I think people are going to be surprised by this one. It's really, really good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm telling you, the tra they did a hell of a trailer for it because yeah. uh, it, it sold the hell out of me. And it's good to see Sam Worthington, man. I don't know where he kind of disappeared for a minute, but that guy's a hell of an actor. He, he needs to yeah. be consistently. And, and he's, got, he's got Avatar money. So he's like very Maybe. <laughs> just chilling, you know. But I, I like I like a role like this for him too. You know, I, I feel like that's a that's a kind of a different removal. You know, because he did a lot of the blockbusters and stuff. But I yeah. think like a movie like this is really going to show you the the guy's skills too. You know, he's really, he's really talented. He's really good in the movie too. Really, really good. Yeah, that's so cool. I mean, tell me. Uh, so he got shot in twenty days, which is super quick. Super I mean, quick. in Alabama, in Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, and uh, it was right before COVID hit. Um, and then during COVID, the director edited it, you know, and it was Zoom edits. It was, 
It was, um, uh, from my understanding, because I'm very close with the director, mm -hmm. it was a nightmare. I but I was, just, I was just happy that the movie got made and people are going to get to see it. And now everything is kind of slowly coming back. People are going to enjoy it in the theater. It's getting a big theatrical release. Oh, they're um, doing a theatrical? That's cool. Yeah, 100 theaters, over 100 theaters. That's uh, really good. Wide. Yeah, no, so it's, it's going to be good. I think, I think people are going to be surprised by this one. It's, it's a really well done, really good cast good movie and the subject matter is just incredible yeah i mean i read up a little bit i, I did some google searches on lansky and man you see that's one of those people like you hear a lot about capone and stuff but yeah, i didn't know much about him and it was it was pretty eye-opening uh like how significant he was you know the the power well, yeah, he had. you know in in in, in the godfather part two hyman roth uh, played by uh, lee strasberg is mm -hmm. based on my lansky the old huh. Jewish man in, in, you know, in Cuba, sitting, getting the sandwich from his wife. And they're, you know, that's Maya Lansky based on Maya Lansky's character. Maya Lansky was basically the brain behind everything. He created Murders, Inc. He um, financed Las Vegas. It was Bugsy and him were best friends growing up. And they teamed up with Lucky Luciano. Um, and, and together, he was the only non-Italian to sit on the board uh, he only went to jail once in 1950 for four months. Um, <laughs> died, a, you know, an old man in his in his apartment. Um, you know, he had a son that was very sick, and he flew around the world trying to find doctors. The movie really uh, portrays that, trying to help his son. You know, this guy is the biggest gangster in the world, and he's, he's he did so much. Uh, the only Jew not allowed to live in Israel. Went to Israel. And really? Uh, yeah, extradited him. Uh, America extradited him back to the States because, you know, in, 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 in Israel in 1948, when Israel got its independent, um, the law was, if you're a Jew, you have a home. Um, and he's Jewish. And he went and Golda Meir was the, was the prime minister and she got a phone call and they told her, he's the head of the mafia. You can't <laughs> keep him. And she was like, whoa. And she gave the only person ever, not like he, he donated a million dollars. He helped her out in a bunch of things. It's a whole thing. I mean, it's a really wow. complex story about this man um, who understood numbers, who understood, you know, that he needs to fight for everything that he wants. This is early 20s, 30s, 40s. Mm. And, uh, and, um, and he was more successful. You know, they said he had 300 million to the equivalent to like a billion and a half dollars. Holy today. shit. Back then he had 300 million? Yeah. yeah. So Damn. the movie really follows. I played the FBI as you mean, David Elliott. Uh huh. Which you're working with him again, right? On your next movie. He's also in I Love Us. I, I loved him so much. I casted him in I Love Us. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll get into that one. Um, me and him play these FBI agents, and we, uh, we're basically, this is modern time, you know. And we're looking for the money. We're trying to find, so we're trying to tap in to um, uh, David, who's writing, you know, the 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 book about Lansky to see if we can figure out where the money went. And uh, that's what really the complex story comes in how smart he was and what he was able to do and hide it and stuff. It's really cool. One step ahead, always, man. Those guys are one step ahead, you know. Yeah. Has there, you mentioned a documentary, has there been any sort of movie on him before or no, besides a doc? Well, he was portrayed in The Godfather Part Two. They didn't call him Maya Lansky, Hyman Roth. Huh. Um, there was the movie Bugsy. Right. And, and Ben Kingsley plays him, but it's not just based on him. Mm -hmm. The supporting role. The movie Mobsters, uh, Patrick Dempsey plays him. Uh, okay, that's right. Um, and, and there was one movie that... Uh, uh, Richard Dreyfuss plays him. It was, I think it was an HBO movie. It was a TV movie. It was not a theatrical movie. Uh, and this is like in the 80s or 90s. So they, he really never had his own story, right? He was just well, part of a, a side, you know, like uh, in a sense with other stories that he was just uh, kind of, yeah. I, I guess, named or, or, you know, participated, but never got his own he take want, on it. He would want the sexy story, you know, like yeah. Bucky Siegel looked like a movie star and he was like, a thug and like violence and you know obviously that's more um appealing to, to you know as, as as a movie character uh Meyer was more of the brain and he really understood how it should work and really basically made it to like a corporation 
Mm-hmm. Murder Incorporated and, 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 and was the most successful one. And um, it's really interesting. It's an intellectual movie, really smart. Uh, and really, really, really. Yeah, I like that. that there's like a flashback kind of scene. Like yeah. John plays the younger version of him, right? And Harvey, the older version. So you kind of yeah. go back and forth. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be cool. I legit can't wait to see this. I need to get this screener by the weekend. I think you will. I mean, I'm sure they'll send it to you. Yeah, no, I got to ask. Cause I know I, I you know, I, I could have probably seen it before, but I'm like, no, nah, I got to talk to my guy tomorrow if we can get <laughs> that book. So especially since I knew you're, you're heading out to New York. So I wanted to get it in before you, oh, you, know, you so travel. Happy we get to do this. Yeah. Look, I mean, my character uh, is, is basically the young FBI agent. Um, I'm just basically like following the lead of the, of David Elliott's character. Uh-huh. And, uh, and we're basically looking for the money. We're just trying to figure out how we can tap into this money. The FBI is like, we tried everything. We could never get anything on him. He's just that good that we couldn't get anything on him. Um, and that's just basically what the story is in my character. And uh, um, I, I was just so happy to, you know, to be in the movie, to be honest with you. Hell yeah. I mean, especially you love the genre. You love the kind of the mobster, you know, you've been in several of them. So this is kind yeah. of like, it, this is familiar to you, you know, in so many ways. I mean, I don't know why I keep getting attracted to it. I mean, look, I love us. It's a love story. There's a little crime in there, but nothing. Yeah. Mafia. Uh, but it's a love story. Uh, you know, I've done things that are not mafia, but I just happen to really kind of like, tap into that world and really yep. relate to it and love it. Hey, why not go with it? You know, as long as you like doing it, that's all that matters, you know, step Absolutely. in. Absolutely. So, hey, hey, I want to hear about the next movie that, that you're directing and starting. We, we touched on a bit. So tell me more. So this movie is something that I've always wanted to make. It's, it's, you know, I think I told you this, but one of my favorite movies is The Family Man. That's and right. Yeah, we talked about it. Yep. Yeah, Nicholas right? Cage, yeah. Yeah, so the dynamic between this guy choosing between these two worlds, one being a single guy, businessman, has everything that you would think someone wants, and the other side is family and, and you know, kids and mortgage and all that stuff. I always thought it would be an incredible idea to try to merge those two worlds and see what would the best way would do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we created this movie, I Love Us, which I, I, I you know, I'm very, very, very happy with. Um, we, we sold it uh, to Vision Films. Um, we're getting a theatrical, 10 city theatrical release in September. Very nice. We got a great, incredible cast. Uh, Katie Cassidy plays uh, my wife. Oh, okay. I was wondering what role she plays in it. Yeah, Katie Cassidy plays my wife. Her two daughters is Harlow Jane, who's an incredible young actress. She comes from a dynasty of, 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 of Hollywood uh, family. Her mom is Patricia Arquette. Her, oh, dad, wow. her dad is Thomas Jane. Great, great actress and incredible human being. Just the sweetest, incredible uh, person that uh, that I'm so fortunate that I got to work with and became friends with. Uh, she's great. Um, was that a, was that a recommendation from David by any chance? It actually was David. Oh, there you go. Like you know, Harlow is acting. You should. You could, I told him I'm looking for young actresses, and if he knows anyone and. He recommended her. And the other girl, her name is Jasper Polish. She, um, Michael, is that Michael Polish's daughter? Yeah, she is. Michael Polish's daughter, her step, he's married to Kate Bosworth. Mm-hmm. And, and, oh, yeah, uh, I, I've spoken to him many times, so I'm, I'm familiar. Yeah, so she, so she's also uh, one of the leads in the new season of Animal Kingdom. It's mm-hmm. coming out next month. She's also an incredible actress. So we have such a great cast. We have James Medeo, my boy, who was in Blackjack. We have... Um, Is Greg, Greg Finley in it too? Greg Finley. There in. we go. He plays the uncle. I had to throw him in there. He's my boy. I love him. He did such a great job. Oh, yeah. Robert Davi, my guy. He's in it. He plays my dad. Uh, David Elliott. Um, mm-hmm. Jag, you know, he's in Lansky, a uh, great guy, great actor. Uh, Jackie Cruz, who's uh, from Orange is the New Black, she's also in Lansky. Yep. She's in, we have such a great cast. You know, the producers did a great job. Kyle Stefanski, Mike Hermosa, uh, Jeff Hoffman, and John Brewer. Uh, you know, we were able to pull it off shooting it during COVID. Oh, you got shot at during COVID, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, and, you know, 
30% of the budget went for COVID. We had to keep everyone safe. It was the most important thing. It was a really difficult shoot. Shot in LA. Um, and you know, when the time came to uh, to sell it, you know, we have um, the music, the composer is incredible, uh, Lionel Cohen. He did such a great job. We have music by uh, a guy who was in the movie, uh, an actor named Eliad Nahum, and he's also a very famous singer uh, in Israel. And now he's branching out and, and breaking in the States. And he did some incredible music in it. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. I love this one. It's a little different. It's it's got a lot of heart. Um, it's 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 a love story, you know, with a twist to it. But uh, really, really cool. So you'd say you'd consider like a romantic drama in a sense, or, or romantic well, comedy? Yeah, yeah, romantic drama. Mm -hmm. Romantic drama. Yeah, it's got everything for anyone. It's got action in it. It's got love. It's got family. Um, really, really cool. Great, great acting. Ilya Baskin is in it. He's great. Um, just, I'm just so happy with that. I'm really excited about this one. As well. I, I'm excited to see you reunite with your friends. I love that you when you work with your friends, man. That's always the coolest thing. Or familiar face, years, Greg. You know, you're you, you're just picking, uh, you know, friends from different films Absolutely. you work with. That's always an awesome atmosphere on screen, even. Of course. Well, you know, I knew this was going to be really tough to make um, because of COVID and 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 what's going on in the world and. I was like, I need guys, friends yep. there to support me. I'm directing it. I'm starring in it. Uh, I needed guys that understand me, understand the way I work, and really come in, do their job, and 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 really understand that we're trying to do something special with with, with a very relatively small budget. And um, and you know, I love these guys, and they're such great actors. And I, I mean, oh I hell yeah, everything. yeah. So how'd you know? Did you know Katie Cassidy before, or how did she come on the project? I met her a few times, but not just hi, hi, uh, just uh -huh. being out in LA. Um, my agent is her agent at APA. Oh, that works. John. And uh, I was like, I'm looking for, I explained to him what it was, and he recommended Katie. And I, I looked at some of her stuff, and I've been a fan. And I was like, I think this could work. Kind of like knowing that I already casted the girl, uh, Harlow, uh, wanting to figure out, you know, if it was going to match. He, everything worked out and I was, you know, I, I got to meet her, speak to her. She loved the script and she jumped on. I was excited. There you go. You know, work with, with people you trust and especially, you know, I'm sure you trust your agent. You know, he, he knows who oh, yeah. the good people are out there to work with. So that's yeah. awesome. And how long did it take for you guys to shoot this one? We shot it in 17 days Damn. in LA. Yeah. Wow. 17 days in LA. How did you pull that? That's like barely two weeks. Like, we're... No, it's 17 actually working days. And it took about uh, um, 22 days with, with, no, 23 days with days off. Yeah, but still um, under three weeks, you know? Like, yeah, wow. I mean, look, here's the thing. When you, because... We understood with COVID, we can yeah. only have a certain amount of money to put on the screen because we need to you know, protect everyone. We had COVID right. inspectors. A budget, a big chunk of budget going elsewhere, right? We really timed it and we really like condensed a lot of the, of the, of the locations and a lot of it was a, a lot of pre-production preparation. And once we were on set, we knew exactly what we needed to get. And we really, we shot with two cameras most of the time. Okay. And yeah, so it was, we, we pulled it off. It was really, really not, it wasn't easy, but. How did you get the locations during COVID, especially? Like everything was locked down out there. Um, how did you pull that off? Because I would imagine yeah. that one, it wasn't that easy, you know? A lot of favors, a lot of favors. Uh, but yeah, look, I mean, if you really want to do something, I always tell people, you go and you do it, there's a way to make it happen. Yep. You know? The will, if there's a will, there's a way, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a true believer in that. That's good. Anything else you're going to work on next after this comes out or anything you're putting together now? Uh, so Lansky comes out next week and then uh, I Love Us comes out in September and I'm looking to shoot another movie that I'm really excited to see how we're working on the script right now. Okay. Are you going to star in it too or just directing? I, I don't know. I, you know, it's like one of those things if I'm right. Um, I do it if I think someone else will be better. I, you know, it's really comes down to, it's really difficult to direct and act. I could imagine. I could only imagine. I mean, that's double duty and double focus, you know? 
Uh, but look, it's working out. We're getting great distribution deals and uh, people are enjoying it. And I mean, I don't mind working hard. I just, it's gotta be right. If, if, it, if it feels right, then I do it. Do you know early on when you're, when you're like putting the movie together, if you're going to be playing the role or not, like how early in the process do you know if you want to look for someone else or if you can, uh, you know, handle the reins of it? You know, in, 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 in Mob Town, I wanted Bobby Cannavale to play my role. Mm -hmm. and I tried to get him. He was like, you know, I just did um, The Irishman. It was too much mob for him. Um, and I was like, if he does it, I, I don't want to do it. And he, he ended up not doing it. And I just thought, you know, I looked if I could find someone else that I trust and I really think can pull it off. Uh, and I didn't, so I, 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 I uh, ended up doing it myself. Uh, but look, I didn't act in Blackjack. I decided that I, right. you know, I, I decided that I'm going to need to put all my concentration on, on directing. So it really varies, you know. I, I think the next one I might act in it. Uh, it might not be the lead, you know, so it varies. We'll see. Yeah, well, as long as, hey, you know, you've got at least two movies coming out in a, in a year and it's actually spent a few months. That's pretty good, you know, especially after all we've been through. So yeah, there doesn't need to be a rush technically, you know? But no, look, my biggest thing always is what's next, what's next. I have these two movies coming out. I I don't think that, you know, more, most people don't have one movie a year, you know? Right, especially after COVID too. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And then I want to get back to work, you know? Yeah. I mean, I want to... I spend some time with my fiance and, and uh, travel a little bit and uh, but then get back to work and and uh, and see what ha you know what happens. I'm also looking forward to uh, there's a few new projects that are shooting here in LA that I really want to get involved in. Um, so yeah, we're working. We're, we're trying to put it all together. Yeah, but you got to figure out well, you know what I mean? You got Lansky come out next week, you're taking your trip, then you come back and then, you know, you have the, the next release coming up. So you, you planned it out really nicely. Exciting, exciting stuff, yeah. Yeah, anything else going on? I mean, have you been seeing any of your friends? Have you seen David or anyone else? Any, uh, any I've, pick tried, I've, I've tried to get uh, David to come play basketball. He's busy yeah. in LA. Uh, he's busy. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. I miss him. I love him. Uh, but I, I get to see some friends here and there. You know, a lot of my friends are traveling and working now. Everyone went back to work. Uh, mm -hmm. But... Uh, you know, I'm just enjoying this weather. LA is great and just spending time with my girl, May, and that's what I'm doing. Hey, that, that's living. You know, I mean, appreciating the things that matter, you know, in so many ways. Good luck uh, and keep me posted. I'm so yeah. happy to, get to talk to you again. I had such a great time last time and I had such a great time this time. It's always Man, great to see you. I'm telling you, you're one of my favorite people. And I love, you. Know, I always call it kind of like, like there it's like you know they had the rat pack back in the day i feel like you have your own clan i think it's like i, I would include like peter facinelli david um i think annalyn mccord like you guys work together or like interchanged in different films so i feel like you guys have this group uh now greg finley and so many others that that you guys kind of work with uh frequently yeah. together i mean my my model is if i'm doing a movie and my friend is right for the role i'm gonna give it to my friend Hell yeah. The way I am. Um, and they're such great actors. I feel privileged that they would work me. You have to understand, it's not easy for Greg to fly from Florida, live his fiance there, come here, work during COVID. And, you know, right. Jimmy's got three kids. He needs to leave. You know, he's in Ohio. I appreciate that, you know, and I know, and I also like breaking actors, giving new uh, actors a, a shot. Um, but I love the, 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 the relationship that we have any, with anyone that is my friend who's an actor. And if I think they're right for the role, I'm going to give them the role. That's just the way I am. And, and we became close and we were friends. I love Peter Facinelli. I got cast in the movie with them. I haven't worked with him yet. I really want to work with him. Um, and, and it's just the way I, I kind of see things. Yeah, I love talking to all of you guys too whenever I get a chance, you know, especially bringing up each other's names and like, you know, when I talk to David about you, he just lit up and, and oh, vice yeah. versa. It's, I just love, you know, because I, I have a sense I somewhat know you guys a little bit at least. So oh, it, you do, you do. Uh, we see you a lot. Yeah, I'm kind of all over. I mean, I, I'm a fan of all your work. So whenever I hear those names, I'm like, yep, I got to talk to him, you know, because I'm always, always good seeing you. 
Hey, uh, me, you too, Danny. I'm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I mean, congratulations on engagement. That's, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Uh, I'm genuinely happy for you. So I hope I get to speak to you again when we do the I Love Us press. Oh, for sure. No, you got me. You know, just let me know beforehand or whatnot. You know, I'll be well, the first. Allie, Allie will be in touch with you. And you don't forget. Huh? What were you saying? I was like, maybe I'll be in LA for that. If I don't get cast on this dating oh, show, I'm going to come great. out to LA that'd to do the great. premiere. Come out to the premiere, of course. Yeah, I will come out to the premiere if that's the case, for sure. Alansky comes out June 25th, uh, nationwide theatrical and available on VOD the same day. So go it check it out. It looks badass. I'm telling you, I'm checking. I'm going to get the screener for it. I'm going to let you know exactly how much I enjoyed it because I know it's going to be damn good. Right, let me know. I would love that. Hey, buddy. Uh, good good to catch up good with you. With the show. Take care. Hey, we got to grab that, get that basketball game one out, out in L.A. <laughs> we got to play. No, I've been balling. Come out here. The jump yeah, I haven't yet, so out. I'm behind. <laughs> well, let's do it. I'm here. All right. Sounds good. Hey, congrats to everything. I'll talk to you soon right, then. I'll see you later. Take care. Hey, take care, my friend. Take care, my buddy. All right. Bye. Bye.